An objective is a long-term specific goal for a business. Although businesses have objectives, not all of them will be stated up front or even obvious. But one objective is vital. Businesses need to make a profit to survive in the long run. If they don't, they won't be able to pay their suppliers, employees or their owners. But they rarely aim to maximize their profits, and that's very true of new businesses. More startups fail than succeed. So when a business first starts out, it has to survive in the short run by making decisions that generate cash now. This means an immediate focus on current survival, putting on hold more profitable projects for the future. Cash flow determines what is available to the business on a day-to-day -day basis to pay their bills. Failure to pay might lead to problems with supply, staff leaving because they're not being paid, or in the worst case scenario, going out of business. Banks and the taxman can force the business to go into administration if they are not paid on time. Most businesses want to grow. That can lead to greater profitability through lower cost per unit or being able to have more control of the market. Some owners prefer to stay the same size because becoming larger may carry greater responsibility and, with that, possibly more stress. Many businesses have stated or unstated social and ethical objectives. Although these objectives may have some positive effect on profits, they are normally in place because the business owners and managers believe they have an obligation to a wider society. This imposes cost on the business, which will reduce their profitability. Social objectives might be developing cheap alternatives to help people in less developed countries. Ethical objectives might be deciding not to test a product on animals. Businesses can exist to achieve all of these objectives, even though they might be in conflict with each other. But it is the owners and the managers who make the decisions. Their individual human characteristics, their personalities, guide that process. So, understanding the personality of the decision-maker helps to understand why they made, or might make, a decision.